Hi everyone, so thanks for joining me today on another photo walk. Uh, what kind of inspired me to come out today was a uh, post I saw in the MU43 forums where someone had dialed in some Kodachrome 64 film color simulation uh, into their Pan F. And uh, it's not something you can really do on any other Olympus camera, so I thought I'd uh, give that a try. And uh, you know, I guess it's pretty close. I mean, the guy seemed to know what he was talking about. And I'll put a link down below to the uh, post that I was reading that showed me these settings. But uh, I decided to take it a little step further and uh, put on my old film era Olympus lens. This is a uh, 24 millimeter f2.8 Zuiko lens for the old Olympus OM SLRs, right? And I also brought my 50 millimeter f1.8, but this 24 millimeter will give me more of a, a normal focal length closer to 50 millimeters on the old film cameras. And also I'm going to be shooting just in a single shot mechanical shutter and I'm going to set the ISO down to uh, low because Kodachrome 64, as the name implies, ISO was 64. Since we don't have that available on this, I'm just going to put it in low, fix it at low. Uh, also I'll be shooting an aperture priority. And uh, I'm going to set the white balance to sunny because, you know, film didn't have white balance. You know, it was, it, was, uh, it was basically formulated to be for sunny days, I guess. I, I'm not sure. But I'm going to lock the uh, white balance to sunny uh, just to get closer to that original film camera type operation or workflow. Uh, and I think that's about it. Uh, aperture priority. Oh, also I turned off the image stabilization. Uh, so again, because I wanted to try to emulate as close as possible uh, shooting with the old film camera on this Olympus uh, Pan F. So if I think of anything else that I did, I'll talk about it as we're going along. But let me uh, go ahead and get started. Hey, there's uh, some sort of statue over here. Let's see if I can get a picture of that. I think what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll cross the street about halfway and then try and stand on that little, uh, I don't know, small sidewalk there, pedestal. Coming up here is an old slave house that I've been to before. It's probably a picture of it in one of my other vlogs, but I didn't get one from this side. And there's a bunch of flags on the front, so it'll be interesting to see how the colors come out. I like this sign just kind of waving here in the wind. The other thing I forgot to mention is I will be shooting in a 3 by 2 aspect ratio if I didn't mention it before with just a little bit of vignette um, applied because when I when I used to uh, shoot with this lens wide open on the film camera it did tend to vignette just a tiny bit around the edges so I'm just trying to replicate that as well. thinking about Fujifilm, you know, because I, I don't see an EM5 Mark III coming out anytime soon. Maybe later this year, but I'm just, I'm just, I don't know, I got a bad case of gas. I'm just itching to get another camera. And I, I love my Pen F and I love my Olympus cameras, but I just want to try something new. I don't know. What do you guys think about a Fujifilm? That seems to be uh, pretty popular. I mean, like I saw the X-H1 with a grip. I mean, I know it's kind of a big camera, but it's like $12.99. I know I parked here. I didn't, I didn't get an app specifically for parking, but I know you guys are trying, telling me to get an app. It's recording. How come I can't see where I'm at? 
Wow, crap, I got a long way to go. It's really interesting that the white balance is fixed to, you know, sunny white balance. And then when I go from like a shady area into a sunny area, the colors change, but I think in a very pleasing way. I had to make a little pit stop here and get some batteries. Uh, the microphone ran out. I was like talking for 10 minutes and no audio. And I should have been paying attention to the little red light. So I think I was saying something about the shutter speed dropping because uh, of light, because the light is not what it was. And, uh, uh, but I really want to stay in the low ISO so I can stay as close to the Kodachrome 64 as possible. Um, so I'm going to keep going. So that means I'm going to have to be very, very steady with my shots. I've been trying to do some street photography, but it's really hard to manually focus and be discreet and not look at people. But yeah, it's really hard, you know, to focus manually and then try to be discreet at the same time. You know, it just kind of occurred to me I can record in this color profile as well. Okay, everyone, so thanks for following me along today. Um, I had a lot of fun shooting in this uh, Kodachrome 64 profile. I think, um, yeah, the colors were really interesting and it, and it was it was fun shooting manual focus and, and locking the ISO down to low and uh, turning off the IBIS and uh, like I said, manually focusing. It, it's uh, <laughs> it uh, really brings you back uh, to what photography is really all about. Um, you know, don't get me wrong. I love the autofocus and the auto ISO. I mean, that's the way I'm going to shoot 99% of the time. But, you know, once in a while, you should just go out and, and challenge yourself a little bit. Shoot with an old uh, manual lens, you know, adapt these things. It's so cheap. I think my, you know, the 50 millimeter lens that I'm using here is like $30 on eBay. And then you can get this adapter for 10 or $15. And you got a fantastic lens. Um, so that's basically what I tried to do today was just go back to the fundamentals of enjoying photography and creating images. All right, the, it's getting dark and the light has dropped and uh, you know, the, I don't think the colors are coming out great. I'll, I'll look at them and I'll have to come out, out again another time, but my, my parking time is up, so I need to get back to my car. But as always, I appreciate you guys watching and uh, hopefully we'll see you again soon.